If you're interested in getting more information about ficus whitefly, there's a lot of in, in, that information available, uh, much of it online. Uh, Broward County Extension Education, uh, we have a, a website, our homepage, www.broward.org slash extension. Uh, if you uh, click on the uh, features section, there's uh, information on uh, ficus whitefly, uh, including complete color photos, management recommendations, the names of products that you can purchase. Uh, some of those are over the counter, some of those you'd have to do you know, with a licensed pest control company, but it's a good source of information. I know that the City of Coconut Creek also has information on their website about managing ficus whitefly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always important to investigate, to learn about what you're dealing with. Uh, you know, there are other pests of ficus and you certainly do, wouldn't want to confuse uh, ficus whitefly with something like the, uh, the ficus thrips, which is another pest, not nearly as serious. Um, many of the hedges actually have both, but uh, certainly the extent of damage you get from thrips wouldn't warrant the kinds of control measures you're going to need for uh, whiteflies. So, you know, getting that information, knowing what the problem is, knowing what to look for and what your management options are, is, it's always a good idea to get, you know, up to speed on that before you make any decisions. Um, and, uh, so, and we also have master gardeners available, some of which live in the city of Coconut Creek. Uh, or can be contacted at the Broward County Extension uh, via our Master Gardener hotline, 370-3725, area code 954. A lot of homeowners are going to want to know if they have to replace any of the ficus hedges if they've died, and it depends on where they're placed. If the shrubs meet minimum landscape requirements, such as um, screening hedges around AC equipment or irrigation equipment, or if they're placed in the buffer of your community or on berms, they would be required to be replaced because they're meeting those minimum landscape requirements. If they're just supplemental shrubs that are in your yard, providing screening or privacy, it's not necessary to replace them. It really will be at the discretion of the property owner. If a homeowner does decide to remove their ficus hedge, there's a lot of other species that you can use that does a similar job. For instance, this is a cocoa plum, it's a native, and it does a great job of screening and you can shape it in much the same fashion as the ficus. But there's also Simpson stopper, Spanish stopper, green buttonwood, um, firebush. There's a lot of other species and we have a list available on our website. You can go to www.coconutcreek.net and there's a tab for the ficus whitefly and it'll also lead you to some information about suitable replacement species. The responsibility for the control of the whitefly is based on the ownership of the property. If it's public property such as city parks, uh, public facilities, uh, lift stations, this would fall under the responsibility of the city. If it's uh, an infestation on private property, that would be the private homeowner's responsibility, or uh, if there's an association, it may fall under the association's responsibility to uh, do any replacements or treatments. Okay, the city is currently monitoring uh, all of the ficus hedges on public property. Uh, as far as addressing any of them in particular, right now we're only focusing in on the shrubs which are the most critical as far as forming uh, a break for sound or sight. Uh, thankfully the city has a minimal amount of ficus hedges on the public property uh, based on the overall coverage. However, there is still a significant amount, especially around our lift stations, which would the city would not be in a financial situation to treat every single site. So we're, right now we're currently monitoring and we're focusing on, on the areas which absolutely must be at this time and then possibly into the future uh, some potential replacement options for these hedges that uh, do not survive.